Over the past week, the ICIJ has been publishing the Paradise Papers. This new information shows us once again how the offshore system, which enables tax avoidance and crimes like corruption and money laundering, is still thriving. But this isn't the first time we've heard this story. It was only 18 months ago that the Panama Papers showed the world the full scale of the problem. And back then, the UK government appeared to take notice. They hosted the International Anti-Corruption Summit and made a lot of commitments to get to the root of the problem. But a year on, what's actually happened? For us, nothing of much meaningful substance. Which is why we're call calling on Theresa May to finally crack down on the UK tax havens and to introduce public registers of corporate ownership. We're also calling on her to clean up London and make sure people can no longer invest dirty money here in the UK. The government also needs to deliver its long overdue anti-corruption strategy. It also needs to work out how it's going to properly tackle corporate economic crime. And finally, we need a new anti-corruption champion. Last year, the UK government appeared to be leading the fight on corruption. But since then, a year on, a new set of leaks, we're hearing just deafening silence.